on the cutting mat with Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to episode 5 of On The Cutting Mat with Toy Ploy, an exclusive video series filmed for my Patreons and YouTube channel members. So what are we going to be doing today? Well I have a box of broken transformers that I like to delve into every once in a while and I just sort of make little projects out of them for my own personal enjoyment and I was sort of rummaging through it and I found this which is the remains of a Transformers G1 blast off. Now I have a, a sort of great connection to this figure because it was one of the ones that I picked up as a child. I actually have my original one still in my collection. This is my very original blast off that I bought as a child uh, and when I see one that's sort of in a sorry state like this I just don't like to leave it. Um, I always like to sort of fix them up and a very common problem with these uh, blast off figures is that they're often missing the tails and the wings and you can see that this one is missing the wings and um, I don't think anyone makes reproductions of them but I was sort of looking at uh, this thinking well actually I could probably make a set of wings for this they're fairly simple shapes in fact if we bring in my original blast off here take off the little gun you can see it's a fairly simple shape there's a little bit of detail on it but it's essentially a bar needs to go across here and then a flat piece of plastic and I was thinking that we could actually make something like that out of styrene and a piece of Lego. So that's my plan for today is just to have a go at making a couple of wings for this blast off just so that he's sort of displayable again. He's never going to be a perfect toy but I just really like these little uh, sort of uh, cheaper transformers because they are the ones that I had as a child. So that is the plan. Let's make some wings for this blast off so that he actually sort of looks semi-complete. So what are we going to need? Well uh, we're going to start with some Lego. I've got a couple of Lego antennas and these do actually fit really perfectly in the little sort of clipping joints on the side. So that is going to be the starting point. I'm then going to use some two millimeter styrene sheet. We'll cut a wing shape out and we'll attach it on. Looking at the original wing it's actually fairly simply constructed. So if I just remove the original wing from my childhood one you can see we just need to make a bar that goes across. It's got a couple of little panels on it and these are quite key. You can see there's a square corner to it. That square corner stops the wing from rotating down. The others are all rounded but that bottom corner is square. So I'm going to make similar sort of attachments so that when it's rotated down it locks in place. We can then use those to attach a piece of uh, styrene to make the wing. It's fairly simple, you should just be able to cut that out. And then there's a post on the bottom for the weapon to attach. And I just happen to have some styrene rods that are pretty much the same size. So um, let's get constructing. The first thing I'm going to do is actually make these little uh, sort of rounded pieces with the square corner. Uh, I think that's a good starting point because that's actually the bracket that will hold everything in place on the side of the wing. Uh, so I need to make four of those. I'm going to be making two wings at the same time because they're essentially a mirror image of each other. So measuring those they look like they are going to be about seven millimeters square so I'm going to mark out some squares at seven millimeters I'm going to drill holes through them at the same diameter as uh, this uh, Lego aerial which is three millimeters then we can mount these all up and start sort of trimming things down and shaping but that's going to be the starting point and then we'll see what happens <laughs> Thank you. 
a little bit of a skip forward here but you can actually see I've made some progress. I've made these little bars and these are the sort of uh, bits that clip onto the side of blast off so that's a piece of Lego. I've shaped those end pieces so you can see they've got a square corner like a sort of teardrop shape I guess and these now fit into the uh, sort of little clips on the side. I've also put a bar on the other side just to match how these uh, wings actually work. So what happens is, uh, which way around do they go? They go around this way so they clip on like that and that square corner will stop the wing from rotating down but we can still rotate this up and you should get the wing upright and I've actually sort of started making a wing so this is my rough wing shape I essentially just traced around the wing that I had and I've now sort of cut it out and shaped it a bit so that is going to sit on the side here and that's going to look pretty reasonable I think I'll probably add some extra support just to make it extra strong because obviously all of the force is going to be on this piece here when you bend that like that um, but yeah the overall effect is it's working quite well I'm uh, pretty happy with how that's looking let me remove this piece it does just about unclip and I'll show you the two sort of uh, together so this is the one that I finished and this is the one that I'm sort of working on I haven't shaped it yet but you can see it's essentially those pieces with the holes in and I'm just sort of trimming around the edges so I'm, I'm certainly getting somewhere I need to cut another one of these out it's uh, very easy to do as I say I just traced around that onto some styrene and I've cut it out but um, yeah I'm pretty happy with how this is all sort of coming together so uh, let's cut another one of these I'll finish shaping up this and we can start sticking these things together and seeing if they actually uh, fit on Right, this is uh, actually coming together now. You can see that's starting to look like the shuttle. So the wings are pretty much done. I've stuck a post on the bottom for the uh, guns to fit on. And this one folds up really nicely. You can see that folds exactly how I'd uh, sort of expected it to work. This one now on the other side, I've made the plastic bits just a little bit too tight. So this uh, wing is catching just there on the clip. So I've got to do a final few modifications, but otherwise, that is working really well. I've not got the sort of defined detail on the top. There's some sort of uh, scored lines that I possibly could put on. I do have a tool that will do that, but I'm not very good at using it. And certainly on something this fine, I don't think I'd get uh, quite the same sort of detail. So I think I'm just going to make the final modifications to this one and give them a coat of a um, satin black spray. Although the you know the the styrene I've used is black, apart from that little post there. There's some marks where I've scratched it, and obviously you can see bits where the uh, plastic welders sort of bled out a little bit so if I give this a coat with some uh, black satin spray that will just finish it off and then a bit of a sticker or something on the top of that and there we got to blast off working again so yeah a few little modifications coat of paint I think we'll call that one done the wings have now had a coat of paint and you can see they are looking very good indeed uh, the paint just hides any sort of errors or scratches or little marks like that and although the plastic is black underneath uh, you know it just sort of finishes them off so we can put those straight on to uh, blast off 
and let's see how he looks. I've got a few stickers to uh, stick on him. I don't have a, a replacement set of stickers. You can get replacement stickers from the uh, Toy Hacks website. I've got a few uh, Decepticon emblems, as you can see here. I've also got a rub sign, which I'm going to stick on the side. And I've noticed while working on this toy that uh, it's actually got a slightly different sculpt to uh, my sort of original one that I grew up with as a child. Uh, there's no little indent on the side here. You can see that this side is sort of fairly smooth. If you look at the side of the one that is my childhood one. You can see there's an indent where the rub sign should go. There's also uh, no little peg. You can see there's a tiny little peg there which locks the two fronts of the, the shuttle together when it's in the, the uh, vehicle mode. And on this one there is no little peg. It's not snapped off. It's just not there. So it looks like they've changed the sculpt of this slightly. But you know these are just sort of things that you notice as you're fixing them up. As you can see those wings actually look pretty reasonable, I'd say. There's not enough, quite enough sort of detail on the top of them, but you know, as an overall effect, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to stick a couple of Decepticon logos on there, the rub sign on the front, and while I've got everything sort of here, I'm going to move these emblems as well. They're not quite in the right space. A child has put these on. They should be sort of nice and centered like that. So I'm just going to use some lighter fluid to loosen up this old sticker and move it into the right position. Likewise, I do the same on that side. And then I think that will be done. But yeah, I'm very happy with how that's turned out. And so here is the finished blast off. I'm very happy with how those uh, wings have turned out. I don't think they'd fool anyone. If uh, you were looking at this, you could see these were handmade. But as far as displaying this toy again goes, they work really quite well and they do actually work. So we can fold this all together. So those should fold in. You can see we've got the sort of pegs on the outside that folds down. This portion pulls out and then the arms will unclip. I've actually just put a bit of Lego in uh, one of the arm holes, a little hand holes just to hold the arms together. I think that works uh, pretty well. So. Uh, there we go. That is Blast Off all back together. He's missing one sticker there. So uh, next time I do an order from Toy Hacks, I will probably stick a set of uh, Blast Off stickers in there to uh, sort of get him all finished up. But I'm really happy with how that has turned out. He's a very nice little figure. And as I said at the start, he's one that sort of means a lot to me just because I remember having these as a child. I think he was the first of these sort of combiners that I bought as a child. So um, yeah, he really does mean a lot to me. So I just need to say a massive thanks to all of you for supporting me here on Toy Ploy. Thanks for being YouTube channel members and thanks for being Patreons. It really does mean a lot to me. I hope you enjoy this uh, series of On the Cutting Mat. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.